Right, so we're on the bit of the ropes with the water, but other than that, we seem to be going all right. So Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Everyone has to drink, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? Timmy went out to the wastelands. We don't know what we'll, we'll do if he doesn't come back. The Lord has to eat for a while. Uh, the Lord has to drink uh, this morning. Has to calm down enough for Ted, to, and he's doing well. So, eat, drink, Timmy's gone, food, um, eat, drink. So, the ladies have to eat and drink. Uh, we can keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny bunker. We can start thinking about getting ways as, uh, get away as far as possible from the radioactive wasteland. We would have thought the, I've read this before, the Reds with the racist comments and yada yada. So. Use our new radio to see what happens. We knew it. The government has not fallen and there's, they're coming to save us. They didn't even... Um, given this exact date in their radio transmission that they sure will keep us waiting long. They said that they will be in touch in a couple of days and told us to wait further for further instructions. Is there anything new bothering Mary Jane? Everything seems good with the laws. Ted is hungry. Sorry. Just got a little excited with the radio transmission. So who needs what now? Ted's hungry. So, the government's come to save us, which is extremely unlikely, but hey. Hey, it's Pancakes! Our friend is back. He seems very nervous, and he keeps barking and jumping. When we open the door, he rushed out, only to come back a moment later, um, and again and bark at us again. Maybe we should follow him. What gear should we take with us? Well, I, well I've got the map on the wall, can't I use the the map that's on the wall. Logic dictates that I could take that off the wall and use it. Day 20. Pancakes wasn't too happy about us staying put. Eventually he left and didn't come back. Well, fuck. We'll miss Pancakes, and not just because his main gave us fond memories of food other than soup. Pancakes? Mmm. Let's eat pancakes. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new is going to happen to Mary Jane today. We haven't done anything about Dolores' sickness. The boars. And Ted needs water. So, water. Nothing new, no. Oh, so, so just water for Ted, kind of is annoying, all that dicking around and just for some reason that, maybe I used the map for something, I can't really remember, but now we can't continue, continue that. Uh, we keep dreaming about little things uh, that we did back in the day when there wasn't as many bombs falling down. Not in our heads anyway. Where, where, where else would bombs fall from? Slightly confused. Day 21. Timmy should have returned by now. We need to face the worst possible scenario. He might not be coming back. <laughs> and there's zero fucks were given on that day. Remember, is not. We need to keep up with our heads clear and get grips with reality ahead of us. Mary Jane is very thirsty and has to take a drink sometime. If there's one thing we need, it's water for Dolores, so ladies are thirsty once again. Um, this morning, always oh, been calm enough for Ted and he's doing well. Good. So, drinks for use. Oh shit, the water's running out. Alright. So we need to go grab supplies. We're pretty sure this place we 
want to go to is in the middle of the big hole in our map and that really ruins the whole look we still have the map why well, could not use that attack 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 and Muhammad Jihad really ruins the whole point of us and this thing to guard us so here is a thought why don't we fix the map yeah if I don't have the scout book I don't have the goddamn scout book day 22 There's nothing we do without scout handbook. Scouts know all about maps and stuff. Maybe we should find one. Find what? A, a scout or a handbook? But how about, uh, but how can we without a map? Oh dear. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Mary Jane is pretty fatigued. The laws has not eaten for a while. There's nothing going on with Ted. Nothing new anyway. So. Hungry. Hungry. Time. We got a bit of food. Oh, looks like we'll have to send one of the ladies out. So we'll send the old lady out because, um. Well, I don't trust her with a 10 foot pole. So I just keep keeping outside and others anyway. It's time to choose the most reasonable person to go out in the quest to gather more supply. Or reasonable, or responsible, or fuck if I know what that word was. That wasn't paying too much attention god you look like a terrible mess <laughs> and so do you bro ain't there any drugs we can give Mary Jane <laughs> bit rock bottom haven't we Doris is on her way out to the surface let's hope she makes it back it's safe and sound there is water when Ted needs it Ted is pretty fatigued So, last the water goes to Ted. It's tough surviving these conditions. Let's hope we'll be over soon or else. And we get a little trolley face. Day 24. Or else we might find ourselves in more trouble. Water is what Mary Jane needs the most right now. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Well, I can sort your food out, mate. Water is non existent, so. You're just going to have to go without. The wasteland is full of surprises, like this man on the other side of the door knocking and claiming that he is willing to offer a lot of decent ammunition. Shall we trade? Shit, we should trade. <laughs> Someone just laughed at me, so I just think I got everything stolen. We offered checkboard instead of ammunition, the visitor was like quite confused and tried to explain to us what ammunition was. We pretend to understand nothing. It was very amusing until he left with our checkboard. Asshole. <laughs> well, yes, that's exactly what happened. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Ted is not complaining today, at least not very much. So, she's going to die first and... And that's about it. Today, the music from the radio stopped abruptly, and instead we got to listen to a tra transmission from the army. We were almost halfway to the door when they started talking about evacuation, but it turned out that, that there's something we need to do. All survivors were asked to leave a sign that they were alive somehow in the area. The ex exact location was given on a ge geographical uh, coordinates. We need a map to establish where that was. For fuck's sake! Day 26. We were sure we could find a location without a map. We were wrong. Hopefully we'll get lucky next time. Water is what Mary Jane needs right the most right now. Ted's water... Ted needs water to survive. Well, look... Our gas mask has been badly worn out and doesn't really protect against anything. It's a good time to have a, a go at fixing it with absolutely no scout books. So it's going down like a lead balloon at the moment. It's like the daughter went bush. When Mary Jane found out she's not getting a single drop of water, she got frustrated and furious. 
She stormed out into the wasteland, shouting over her shoulder that we will regret this and that she's getting water on her own or no other way. We are seriously terrified right now. We really don't know how to repair it, so it's so it's a problem best left it alone. Whereas the water Ted needs, it Ted has to rest. There is no water. It's hard to keep track of time down here. We can't tell if it's night or day. Our sleep patterns are messed up. Terrible light um, bulbs are not helping. Too bad we can't replace them. There is to be something else we can do about this. Day 28. Alright, he's got himself a sock puppet. That's always a good sign. Barely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to uh, try the last hour or two to sleep. No luck. We're even more tired than we were, and there is no problem that we will need to face soon. Oh. Even more tired than we were before, and there are other problems that we'll need to face soon. Let's just hope that yawning won't be enough to scare raiders away or save us from radiation sickness. Ted's stomach's rumbling. Where is the water when Ted needs it? Ted has gone crazy. Ted is really tired. Ted's on the fucking rope, shouldn't he? Time to ration out. Nothing. Well, he can have some food. It's really hard to uh, decipher anything from a real map, so it would be a good idea to restore it a bit. Patch it up a little bit. Maybe update it. Yes, once again, I cannot do this. So then you get a fucking hole in it, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> Good time to come back, love. He's a fucking skeleton. You decayed, you decayed quickly, didn't you, bro? <laughs> Too many days without took, water took their toll. Ted died from dehydration. There's nothing we do without scouting handbook. <laughs> Righto. It's all about the scouting fucking handbooks. Scouts know all about maps and stuff. Maybe we should find one, but how about... What can we do without a map? Oh dear. We're glad that Dolores came back safely from the waste. She spotted an unknown group of people scavenging in the neighborhood. And they had a bag, a lot of bags and backpacks. Too many even. They were really busy and didn't notice when one of the backpacks went missing. With a little help from us. The sounds of glass hitting glass while running with the backpack could mean only one thing. Plus two water, motherfucker. Dolores would really love to eat something. Dolores is really tired. Well, mate, you're doing alright for yourself, but you're the only one left. Yes, I want to go and scout. It is very difficult to prepare us for the unforeseen consequences when you don't see them coming. Well, they are unforeseen by definition. So, that does make a lot of sense. No shit. You can't say we were prepared for what happens. A cake? I want a cake. Day 30. What we make of today will be our tomorrow. So let's make it right. Okay. The laws will not last long without water. Have some fucking water. We're feeling pretty optimistic about today's expedition. The only thing left is to, to do is to choose the right person to go outside. Why can't you go back outside, sweetheart? Why? You could just hide the fuck up and go out there again. Day 31. The laws really love to eat something. The laws is pretty fatigued. Need some food. Oh, you're too exhausted. Really? Too exhausted? When everyone else is dead? Like, that's just no excuse. It's difficult to keep our spirits up in this situation. We hope this whole mess will be over soon. Or else, soup and flies. Day 32.
The rest we might end up getting some wasteland ditch. That's not something we are looking forward to. Everything seems to be okay with the laws. Time to ration supplies. Seems awfully quiet outside. Maybe it's safe to go outside. He's still too fucking exhausted. Today the music of the radio stopped abruptly. Instead we got to listen to our transmission of the radio. It's half halfway through. Blah blah blah. Start talking about evacuation. And we don't have a goddamn map. Even though it's stuck to the fucking wall. Day 33. We were sure we could find the location of the map. We were wrong. Hopefully we get lucky next time. There's one thing in this water. The lords are still too exhausted. He mutated rodents are attacking our supplies. We're not sure if these are rats, feral bunnies, or just mutated hamsters. All of these options are pretty grim. We could use a spare ammunition or something else to get rid of every one of these pests. Unfortunately, we use, somehow used an axe on fixing a wound without chopping it off. Putting flame to an axe and it disappeared. Never had a gun. Day 34. The beast. Oh, that beast of a rodent won. It won and stole our food. Can or no can? What the fuck's it gonna do with a can of bloody soup? At least we have each other, right? <laughs> no, we fucking don't. We're just worried to come back and finish what it started. Today's been a fine day, a fine day for Dolores thus far. Time to ration flies, no. Sending the laws out is a death sentence. Well, staying inside's a fucking death sentence too, isn't it? This dreadful, this dreadful science is becoming boring, and like every happy modern family, we don't have that many things to talk about. You'd just be talking to yourself, mate. Is there anything we can do about it? Anything at all? We can listen to the radio, can't we? Yay, I have one, one thing, finally. Day 35. How the fuck are you still alive? Day 35, oh, it rhymed. <laughs> ah, how fortunate we took the radio with us. How can we properly listen to some music? They still play music out there, don't they? We can still just sit around while the laws are sick. Well, we can't just still, well, sure we can because we've got no other fucking choice. Jalor's state is too feeble, we can't let it go. Well, damn it, that gas mask of ours is worthless. Wearing it probably increases the chance of inhaling something awful. Maybe we should try fixing it. It shouldn't be too difficult, right? Well, f for fuck's sake. Day 36. Really don't know how to repair it, so it's probably best to leave it alone. The laws was really love to eat something. There has to be some water left. The laws should get it. The laws has rested, so she can go outside now, cause she's pretty. F the laws, go outside. The laws says she's fine, but we're not sure. Well, I don't have many options left now, do I? Alarm! There is a group of people outside that don't seem too friendly. We recognise some of them. They used to be in our neighbourhood watch. They don't sound too concerned with the well-being of neighbourhoods anymore. But they are very serious about angrily waving their um, heavy flashlights. We need to do something before they break in and take everything we have. Well, I'll hit them with the whole nothing. Day 37. Fuck, he's still alive. You're a bloody trooper, aren't you, mate? The invaders burst into shelter and like a violent tidal wave, they immediately went for one thing that was for the greatest value to them, our water stocks. They grabbed as many bottles as they could that could have taken. Um, oh, I didn't have that many left. Dolores has a nasty injury during the fight. Fuck! We hope she'll be alright, but we probably need to take care of that wound. Dolores is hurt. Time to ration supplies. Oh, she can still go outside. Thomas King's go outside either way. Out you go, mate. Out you go. And 
the end. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> it's just dead skeleton with a can of soup in front of him. But fucking great. We found the door locked. We tried to get in. We knocked. We yelled. We heard nothing back. Someone or something is inside our home and it ain't our own home anymore. Time to move on. We survived for 43 days. And we were driven away. Apparently. And soup. So that's 60 seconds. I hope it's a bit of fun. Um, I might give it a go again. Do a few more episodes. Just for fun. See how far, far I can get in the game. Hopefully I can do a bit better than that one. But it still went alright. 40 something days isn't too bad for a first go on hard difficulty. So anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. Have fun, take care, and I'll see you later.